Yeah, the ladies love me. Ha, huh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I date. I've been out with a few girls since I got my license. They're just chicks, you know? I mean, before my first date, my dad told me to open the car door for her and listen when she's talking, blah, blah, blah. I mean, who does that? My older sister signed a True Love Waits card. Give me a break. It's not a big deal. You know, when I go on a date with me a kiss and do a little bit more and, well, the rest I want to tell the guys as they're practicing the locker room. But do I have to sign a stupid card? For what? It's a part of life. I'm not going to get all serious about it. I'm 16 years old, and it's not a big deal. Confident and fun on the outside. Broken and hollow on the inside. They see me coming a mile away. It's like it doesn't even matter who or where it comes from anymore. A touch, a wink, a caress. Anything to make me feel like I'm important and worth something. I'm the life of the party. The girl that sits next to you in class. I could even be your sister. And it won't matter if he doesn't remember me next week. For a moment, I was beautiful. I was wanted. People talk, but so what? Isn't this what being young is all about? I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm 17 years old, and so what? I sit around. I accepted Christ two years ago. After getting baptized, I got involved in youth choir and went on mission trips. I have this amazing boyfriend, and we've been together for about six months. We signed True Love Waits cards, and I just know that we're going to be married someday. My mom and dad are okay with us hanging out together, but sometimes, when we're alone, I feel so many things. We know we should wait, and we never go all the way, but sometimes I feel guilty when we get too close to the edge. How close is too close? Sometimes I feel like we're just dancing on the line between staying pure and going too far. Technically, we're still okay. I mean, we're gonna get married, right? I'm 16 years old, and I'm a line dancer. Me, I live a double life. In a small town where everybody knows everybody. Image is everything. If they might knew what I felt on the inside, it would all be over. I have worked so hard to, to just be like everybody else, but it's killing me. I have so many questions. Did God make a mistake when he made me? Was I supposed to be a girl? I feel like I'm on the inside looking out into a world that I don't fit into. I don't want to be gay. I need help. But who can I talk to? I can't go back to church. What will my youth pastor say? I'm trying so hard to break free from these feelings and desires. But it's like I'm addicted or something. I just can't do this on my own. God, there's got to be a way out of this. I'm 15 years old, and I struggle with homosexuality. Fine. You want to know the story? Here it is. I had gotten pregnant by my best friend at the age of 18. I found all this out two weeks before I was supposed to leave for college. I'm the baby of the family, and I knew I would have a million people telling me what to do. I was 18. I was an adult. I wanted to make my decisions about my own future and my body. To be honest, I was terrified, but determined. I am going to college, and this is my future. The doctor told me everything went very well, and he said I'll be fine, and I will be. I will. I'm 19 years old, and last year I had an abortion. Maybe I shouldn't even talk about it. I mean, I'm only 13, but it's not like I don't hear about it. My friends make jokes and I see stuff on TV. And yesterday some guy brought his brother's magazine to school. I, I didn't see it or anything. What, I mean, what am I supposed to think about all that? I'm just still trying to ask this girl to homecoming. My best friend says that I don't have the guts to do anything with her. Do anything. I mean, I think she's cool and I, why can't I just get to know her? I don't know, maybe he's right. Maybe I should try something. I don't want to, but I don't want to look like a punk in front of my friends. I'm 13, and I struggle with peer pressure. The Lone Ranger. I guess that's what you'd call me. During my first year of high school when I was here in the youth group, I became a Christian. Being the only Christian in my family and among my friends, I felt alone a lot. But I was never really alone. God was always with me even when I made a decision to save myself from marriage. All around me, my friends were choosing to give their gifts to someone they really liked or loved, and when I got into college, my friends all got married and started families. 
I'd get discouraged. Lord, what about me? It wouldn't be lying to say, I struggled a lot because I didn't get married young. I thought maybe I'd made the wrong decision. But my patience was rewarded. My husband is the only one who knows me in that way, and that is so special. To be honest, I would have waited a hundred years for him. I'm 31 years old, married, have two kids, and I chose purity.